Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of GW Fan, Twilight Sparkle. In the last episode, we got captured, we got turned into wolf, we're captured, and now we're in some sort of prison. So let's do a prison break and get the hell out of here. We're almost out actually, so let's hit Z here. So, you know where we are yet? <laughs> well, if you go to the top, you might figure it out. So let's do exactly what the nice little lady says. And let's get the hell out of here. And that's pretty much it for this place. Pretty much. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a little off or clear my throat. I'm a little under the weather. A little sick. I have been actually for the past few days, but really besides the deeper voice and a slightly scratchy throat, it's really been nothing. It's like the common cold doesn't even affect me anymore. So, we were finally able to get out of that. And look at the sky. Isn't the black cloud of twilight sparkle looking beautiful? Do you know where this is? You still don't know. Look, there's someone I want you to, to introduce you to. But I'll need you to go to that tower to do it. None of you guessed where we were, which is a shame. I guess they, you guys don't know. Well, you'll find out here shortly, and it's going to surprise you. A twist of irony, actually. Uh, telling you that probably told you what it was. So, there are even spirits up here, too, huh? This whole spirit thing is pretty new to you, isn't it? Even though these guys can see those monsters, they don't know a thing about you. If you think I'm lying, why don't you check it out? Use X to hone your fine senses. I believe you, sweetie. Nice little lady. Nice little steel. Yeah, what was that? That was a dream sequence. That was why we woke up like that. Now that we're done taking a nice little nap, let's go forward. And let's not do that again. Now you can push this or you can just do this. Yeah. Pushing puzzle is irrelevant. Uh, we got kind of a nasty enemy. These birds, I think, do a full... I think all Twilight enemies, besides the really small ones, do a full heart of damage. Don't sound like much, but at our health level, that'll get us killed really fucking quick. We got any hearts? No, no hearts to rectify a steel stupid mistake. I'll just jump down the hole. Come on, buddy. Get close. There you go. Gonna let it come to us. Follow the gray money. Because we're a wolf. Alrighty, let's move forward. We're just about there, as you can see. Alrighty, let's get here and let's hit Z. Look, just a little further. Yes, yes. Now run! As fast as you can. You don't have to deal with these guys. Stay in the middle section here because you won't, if you turn on the ramped sections, you'll, the steep sections, you'll go slower. You'll run slower. Alrighty. That's it. We're at the end of this little adventure. So remember when I said there'd be a lot of dialogue? Well, this is where we are. Minna. Yeah, that's where we're supposed to learn her name. You remembered my name? What an honor for me. So, this is the one for whom you were searching. He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I guess I'll do. Thank you. <laughs> You were, you were imprisoned? Damn, I lost the voice there for a second. So I was thinking about the stupidity of my face, I don't know. I am sorry. 
Poor thing. He has no idea where this is or what's happened. So, don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. Twilight Princess. Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was set to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows, ruled by a creature who shunned the light. Ruled by creatures who shunned the light. I'm trying to mimic the voice I used in Ocarina of Time for Zelda. Zelda. Anyways, we get a nice little callback to Link to the Past with this piece. And we get a little flashback, too. Such a good track. Uh-oh. All hell's breaking loose. Jesus Christ, they move fast. Guard's like, yeah, we got this. I'm dead. Yeah, it seems they were no match for those creatures of Tweelit. Uh oh. Who's this guy? It is time for you to choose, surrender or die, ha ha ha. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death? And I really like death, so choose that one. But thankfully the princess has a mind in her head and chooses life. Even though he will be disappointed. This person. And for some reason we get a random close up on that statue. Which is odd, I guess. For some reason the castle suddenly on fire. All and even though all they did was break into the through the doors. Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without the light, the people became his spirits. Thank you, Zelda. Within the twilight, they live on unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. All the people now know is fear. Fear of a nameless evil. I can't even interact with them, or hurt them. But fear, damn it! The kingdom succumbed to the twilight, but I remain its princess. <gasps> yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough, and from what I said, it's Zelda. It's Zelda. But an adult this time, like more of an adult. I am Zelda. More so than Ocarina of Time. Oh, you don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, it's, is Perpetual Twilight really all that bad? Midna, this is no time for levity. The Shadow Beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? Why indeed, you tell me. Oh, Midna, I know your little secrets. Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. I'm a puppy. You must leave here, quickly. Yes, let's take her advice and let's get the hell out of here. Or you can play in the fire. If you want to get a game over, just keep running into it and you'll complete the Twilight Princess game. And you'll make another split in the timeline. That wasn't originally there. 
Well, we need to take into account the players who burned themselves to death in Zelda's room, because they were curious. Not that way. The card's coming. Boy, he's prompt. She's like, hmm, where do we go? Yes, that'll work. Hee <laughs> well, do you understand where we are now? We're at Hyrule Castle, where we originally intended to go. I guess a promise is a promise. So I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into the Twilight Sparkle. But, are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? He, do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But, well, you'd have to be my servant. And like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back, take a little time, and give it some thought? Sorry, the face and the teleportation, I couldn't help it. But first... Oh, I thought I was going to ask this to save our game. It usually does. It's been a while since I've played this. Now it doesn't hurt, because I'm used to it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the Darkened Realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self. And you won't anytime soon. Now why could that be? See you later, alligator. And with that, we're a naked wolf in public. Ah shit. Our dick is hanging out. Run! So, um, what next? Did you think I disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight sparkle. Last time a shadow beast pulled you through the curtain of twilight. Last time, oh yeah, I said last time a creature pulled you through the curtain of twilight. But if you want to go that way this time, you'll need the cooperation from someone like, from someone... You'll need the cooperation of someone from the Twilight like me. So, you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that. Well, that'll depend on your actions. No, it won't. Because you never, because you can ne because you never can trust words. Right now, I want a sword and a shield that'll suit me. You do understand me, don't you? So, what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up. Well, you're the one talking to us, lady. But she's right, we can't go that way without her help, and she won't let us till we get her some weapons. So what, does that mean this game is going to be a wolf exclusive game? We're not going to be a who-man? Well, you'll have to find out later. Oh, wait, that's the twilight thing. We don't want to go that way. I'm going to go back to the village and get her a sword and a shield. Because if you remember, there was a certain package we were going to deliver. Oh, hello there, buddy. Fuck you. You need to sleep now. Yeah, new enemies. They'll take a couple jump attacks to kill. But we didn't have to really fight him, so I'll just knock him out. This guy, I would suggest killing. Hey, buddy. You need to die. I'll do with an arc B attack. A rough, rough. And then you'll die. Because barking is OP. Alrighty, let's go. Wait! Hey, let's just squoil! Thank you for taking care of those mott bad guys. They made both the village and the forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children. But I know, you're not one of them. 
I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We animals understand one another, so you'll be alright. Alrighty, there's a section coming up. I want to wait till the next episode to do, because I have a thing planned for it. So where are we going to find that sword and shield in the village? Well, find out next time on Let's Play. This episode was cut short, and it's all GW fans' fault.